Hello, beloved ones. This is Denise Margaret here to do your seven day, your next seven days, the week ahead. What is coming your way for the next seven days? So I'll put the timestamp there as well. And I'm going to go ahead and go over some rituals and some cleansing. You have four days left before the hollow day is here on the 31st, All Hallows Eve the 30th. You want to go ahead and prepare. For those that are interested, you can go ahead and stay for just a few minutes. If not, you can definitely, oh, look at that beautiful flame. It's just rising above with energy. So you can go ahead and just follow the timestamp that starts the reading. But I'm actually going to go over because I've had some questions and I want to share. It's time. This is the season, okay? So you have four days. I just finished a major cleansing, okay, of the property and myself and my home and my animals. So there's different ways to do that. You can use crystals for your animals, for yourself as well. For those that have asthma or just can't really do smudging, that's fine. You can do sprays if that doesn't bother you. You can do air fresheners with cinnamon in it. Cinnamon releases, brings in prosperity, success, and abundance. But it also releases negative vibrations and energies and some people don't even know that they're sending that to you which is called the maliuka in Italian or you know it as the evil eye somebody could be casting that upon you you know with jealousy with just looking at you because you look good and you've got something on that they want or whatever but you have to be aware of neighbors family friends even lovers sometimes have secret jealousies over you so this is a major time this is a ma major festive year my dears to go ahead and pay attention to each season if you're open to that nonetheless everyone should be cleansing their home not just vacuuming and dusting but cleansing your space okay because it's your energy and you want to protect that from everybody else so different ways you can definitely meditate over candles you can place oils on those holy oils you can bless your water read the psalm psalms 91 whatever your religion is i am spiritual so i don't define religion but whatever you practice we'll put it that way okay and i am open to much i actually teach a lot of the kabbalah i teach a lot of different energy sources metaphysicals I do quite a bit besides just tarot reading so I am open to receive so whatever the situation is for you you can also take some blessed water holy water if you can get it at the church if not make your own you can definitely say whatever you want to and you can put it in a bowl and cleanse and you can just definitely spurge and spurging is just you're really just taking your bowl of water okay and you're just cleansing you're cleansing things okay you're dipping your hands in there and you're sprinkling around to and hold this and carry it around with you I've got some sage in here I've already done that so you could use water you can use sprays air fresheners you can also use incense and we're gonna do that right now and bless that so you can take your incense, you can take this and go around the house. If you don't have sage, palo santo, cedar, those are the ones I would recommend around this time of year. Samhain, okay? Most of you may call that, you know, Halloween. But there's a reason for it. It's not a bad thing. You can go back and check with your traditional ancestors. This is what they've all done, whether you're Irish, whether, you know, you're Native American, whether you're Sweden, whether you're German, Italian, it doesn't matter. All of your ancestors have done this to cleanse their home, their property, their animals and their family and so this is something that you definitely want to do to go ahead and keep lower negative vibrations away from you it's a smart thing to do around this time you can also go ahead and take a wand like I have here okay and you can just use this and not use any sprays or any type of you know incense or anything if you're sensitive you can move the wind you can move the air you can move energy by using your wands you do not need to use anything that may you know upset you in the breathing respiratory area so I wanted to share that with you you have four days to do that I would say that everyone should be cleansing and cleaning yourself just like you brush your teeth every day I mean it's just normal right it's just something that you always want to guard your space and your energy especially around work and co-workers and you know what I'm talking about there. Let's get right into that. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me through my email. I'd be more than happy to help. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look and see what the next seven days are coming for you. The next seven days, what will be so for the general collective, please, the next seven days. We have the Two of Cups, beautiful partnership coming in. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. We do have the Empress, beautiful, new beginnings. And we also have Justice, so we have a lot of Libra energy here as well. Things are going to be balanced out. So let's start with this right here. So this could be business and partnership. I read it both ways because it's a general reading. So you do have a partnership of good collaboration. Looks like it's healthy here. You can see they, this is the dolphins. Dolphins mate for life. 
okay? They're very faithful, they're very honest. If something happens to their mate, then there's something where the rest of the dolphins, the rest of that will take care of them. So all of their energy here is faithfulness. This is good energy. This is health, prosperity, success, abundance. You do have a good collaboration coming in with the Two of Cups, business or love, whatever you're here for. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy for me. And this is slow and steady wins the race. This is going to be consistent. This is going to be slow, very good, long-term longevity, long-term contract in business and or love. You have the Empress card, so you're creating something very beautiful. You may be your creative, artistic, talent, musician, or you're just creating something beautiful in a relationship with a business and or a love partner. Justice is coming in. The scales are going to be balanced here. It's the yin and the yang. There's going to be good energy between the two of you. You have the star card. So this is beautiful. This is Aquarius energy, health and healing. You have a wish fulfillment coming in over this particular partnership. You have the sun card. This is a beautiful reading. Look at this Leo energy blessings. Something is coming to the light. Something is going to be shown to you. Okay. And you're rising above. Universe is just illuminating you with this energy. So you have good energy in the next seven days. Whatever it is, you're going to prosper. Okay. You have the Knight of Wands, and this is something, and you can see the sun coming in, casting down upon you. So there's somebody charging in. Somebody wants to talk to you. This is something quick. It's fast action. You could be moving fast. You could be traveling. There could be traveling with business or with love, someone coming to see you, but there is a lot of fast energy, quick movement coming in. You also have the Queen of Pentacles. This is beautiful. Oops, excuse me. I said Pentacles. That's what I saw. So as an intuitive professional reader, I'm going to go with that. This says Queen of Cups. You've accepted the love or the offer, the opportunity. You can see the star on her heart chakra. I saw Queen of Pentacles, which means you're going to be overflowed with a lot of abundance. Okay. And so that is a lot of prosperity coming in. And we do have the Two of Swords. So somebody needs to take the blindfold off. You may think it's too good to be true, but honestly, this week things are going in your favor. So you do have choices. Someone's at a crossroads. Let's go ahead and validate. Why did I see the Queen of Pentacle when this is actually the Queen of Cups? Why did I see that? Please clarify that for me, Spirit. Okay, so there's the devil card, the Capricorn. So some of you may have a lot of abundance coming in. So something that's not really necessarily bad with all of these cards. Okay, I read the cards against whatever's coming in for clarification. This is telling me it could be somebody trying to take care of a situation. It could be very tempting. You just need to pay attention and see if it's for you. Okay, wow. There it is, the Queen of Pentacles. I told you I saw her, and here she is. A lot of fertility, new new beginnings, new roles. Somebody could be trying to become pregnant, or you find out someone's pregnant as well. But there's a lot of blessings, a lot of success. You have the crossroads again. So there's something here where you need to pay attention to. It's very emotional. You have new beginnings. You have happiness. Somebody just really needs to make up their mind on what they want. Let's look at some final cards. We're going to look at the sacred soul messages at the bottom of the deck. What do we have here? We do have a major breakthrough, success, overcoming any type of obstacles coming in. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what else we have. So we have healing and blessings, a lot of strength that you need to carry on with. We also have stay steady. Like I said, slow and steady. Go back and watch the beginning of the reading. Go with the flow. You're going to be doing the right thing that helps you here. Use your intuition. You're returning to the past to bring into the present. You are a natural born leader. And taking steps in the beginning again, you're creating something, truly the life that you want and you deserve. Take care.